Book two, lesson three. Antenna. Antenna has two meanings. An antenna is one of the two long, thin feelers on the head of many insects and of some water animals, such as lobsters. The beetle moved one antenna to the left when Sam touched it. An antenna is a metal rod or wire used to send and receive radio and television messages. Let's pull out the antenna on the radio to hear the station more clearly. Now let's review word meaning. Yes or no. If the radio station is not clear, you should pull out the antenna. If you said yes, you are correct. An antenna is a metal rod that helps receive radio signals. Balance. Balance has three meanings. Balance is a state of being firm and steady. Tanya lost her balance on the diving board, and fell into the pool. To balance is to stay in a steady position without falling. The acrobat balanced carefully on her partner's shoulders. To balance is to hold something in a steady position, without letting it fall. The seal balanced a large ball on its nose. Now let's review word meaning. Choose A or B. The acrobat balanced on the tightrope by A, holding her arms out to the side, or B, doing a flip. If you said A, you are correct. To balance is to stay in a steady position without falling. Boulder. A boulder is a large, rounded rock resting on or in the ground. On our hike, we followed the trail past a boulder as big as a car. Now let's review word meaning. True or false? A boulder is easy to move. If you said false, you are correct. Boulders are large, rounded rocks. They are usually too heavy to move easily. Cliff. A cliff is a steep, high rock face with a sharp drop to the ground below. From the top of the cliff, the hunters watched the buffalo far below. Now let's review word meaning. Choose A or B. Which of these describes a cliff? A. Soft. Or B. Steep. If you said B, you are correct. A cliff is a steep. High rock face with a sharp drop to the ground below. Joint. A joint is the place where two parts meet or come together. The elbow is the joint where the upper arm and lower arm connect. Now let's review word meaning. Choose A or B. Which of these is a joint? A, the knee, or B, the ear. If you said A, you are correct. A knee joint is the place where the two parts of a leg meet or come together. Machine. A machine is an object that is used to do certain kinds of work. It can have both fixed or moving parts. After we waxed the floor by hand, Jerome used a machine to polish it. Now let's review word meaning. Yes or no. A vacuum cleaner is a machine. If you said yes, you are correct. A machine is an object that does work, such as 
Pick up dirt. Motor. A motor is an object that provides the power to make something move or do work. Dad started the motor on the boat by pulling on the cord. Now let's review word meaning. True or false? To turn on the car motor, mom presses on the pedals. If you said false, you are correct. To turn on the car motor, mom turns the key. The motor is the object that makes the car move. Muscle. A muscle is a part of the body that can be stretched or tightened to make the body move. The day after we ran around the track, my leg muscles were sore. Now let's review word meaning. Yes or no. If you lift weights at the gym, you work on building different groups of muscles. If you said yes, you are correct. Muscles are parts of the body that can be stretched or tightened, especially by exercise. Planet. A planet is a large object in space that moves in a regular path around the sun or some other star. The rings around the planet Saturn are made up of many pieces of ice. Now let's review word meaning. True or false? The Earth is a planet. If you said true, you are correct. The Earth is a planet because it moves in a regular path around the sun. Slope. Slope has two meanings. A slope is a surface, a line, or a piece of land. That is higher at one point than at another. This ski slope is too steep for beginners. To slope is to lie at an angle. The land slopes up a little here by the pond. Now let's review word meaning. Choose A or B. Is it harder to A hike up a slope? Or B, ski down a slope. If you said A, you are correct. A slope is a piece of land that is higher at one point than at another. It is usually harder to go uphill than downhill. Next, let's move to today's story. Greetings from Mars. You have probably seen pictures of robots. Imagine that a robot could talk to you about itself. It might say something like this: "Hello, my name is Curiosity. I didn't grow from a seed or an egg as plants and animals do. People made me to explore Mars. Mars is a planet that humans hope to visit one day. That's where I am now. I set off from Earth in 2012. You and I do many of the same things, but we do them in different ways. When you move around or pick things up, you use your muscles." The power they have comes from the food you eat. Each move I make is caused by a little motor. I have many inside me. Their power comes from electricity. My computer controls all of them. I don't have eyes. In their place, I have television cameras. They send pictures to my computer. I can look to the right or left, up or down, wherever the computer tells me to. If I am exploring a place with many boulders, my television cameras tell my computer. Then it helps me go around them. If I get too close to a cliff, my computer again helps me move out of danger. I don't have ears either. Instead, my antenna picks up messages sent by humans back in the United States. It also sends messages back to them. I do all kinds of work. Some jobs I do better than humans. This is because I never get tired. As long as I have electricity, I keep on working. I can also work in places where it is difficult for people to go. On Mars, there is no air and very little water. Humans need both. I get along just fine without them. Some robots stay in one place. I move around on six wheels. If I find myself going down a slope, my computer keeps me from falling over. If that were to happen, I wouldn't be able to get back on my wheels again. 
just like people, I have to keep my balance. I don't want to have an accident while I'm moving about. You have two arms. I have only one. It has joints in it, like your wrist and elbow, but my arm is made of metal. It has a scoop at the end of it that I can use to dig into the ground. Everything I learn goes into my computer. Humans built me to find out what it is like here on Mars. They will use what they learned when the first humans come here. I will never return home to Earth. How do I feel about that? Well, I don't have feelings. I'm never sad, but I'm also never happy. That's because I'm a machine. So staying here on Mars doesn't bother me at all. The End